Hey y'all, I love oatmeal for breakfast some mornings. The thing is, is I'm a little lazy on breakfast sometimes and I just want the instant stuff. Well, a lot of times I'll grab a packet of this. But when you're gluten free, this isn't necessarily an option. This actually contains whole grain oats, sugar, dried apples, natural flavor, salt, and cinnamon. This maple and brown sugar contains whole grain oats, sugar, salt, and natural flavor. None of those scream gluten to me, but oats are a big cross-contamination issue for some people because oats are processed in the same facilities as wheat. Now we have a cross-contamination issue. If you're celiac, you certainly can't have it. And if you're gluten intolerant, you may have issues with that as well. To solve that problem, Today, we're gonna to make our own DIY packets of instant oatmeal. It's inexpensive. It's easy to find the oats on their own, even if you're at a store that doesn't have a gluten-free instant oatmeal boxed option. You control the amount of sugar. You control the flavors in it. It only takes a few minutes to make and you're good for a couple weeks. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So let's get started on this easy recipe. So I've moved you guys in closer so you can see what I'm doing, but this recipe is super easy, super versatile. You can change it up any way you want. It only takes a couple minutes and I'm gonna be good for 11 or 12 days of oatmeal. It lasts for a long time in the cabinet because it's all stuff that's kept in your pantry anyway. So we're gonna take five cups of quick cooking gluten-free oats, whether it be Bob's Red Mill, Arrowhead Mills, whatever brand you can find, I'll link down below to a few options. So you wanna take five cups of that. We wanna add, for my taste, I like three quarters of a cup of brown sugar to my recipe, you could go more or less. It can be dark brown sugar, light brown sugar, whatever you want to add. I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of cinnamon, maybe a little more. Again, all the preference, add more if you like, add less if you like, add nutmeg and ginger and make a pumpkin spice out of it. You can do what you want. At this point, you could also add raisins. If you want raisins, you could add craisins, whatever you want to add. I'm also gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. It's not gonna make our oatmeal salty. It's gonna help balance out the sweet of the sugar. Totally leave it out if you're not doing sodium. The next thing we wanna do is give it a good mix. I'm using a whisk that lets me break up that brown sugar and mix that cinnamon up. And it'll allow everything to blend really well. So we're gonna mix that up for a couple minutes and then we'll finish it up. Okay, once everything's mixed up really well, and as you can see, I switched over to my hands. I don't have any more lumps of brown sugar in there. Everything looks about the same consistency. So now we wanna package it up so it's ready to go when we want a quick breakfast. I've got some of those snack size Ziploc bags and I'm gonna take a half cup and I'm gonna bag half cup increments until I'm out of the oat mixture. Guys, once you have everything bagged up, you wanna seal your bags. If this is something that you might only eat once a week, twice a week, make sure you label the bag so that you know what it is and when you made it. 
They are all non-perishable items, so they're gonna last a long time in your pantry, but it's not a bad idea to still mark it. If you like maple syrup in your oatmeal, maybe you cut back the sugar a little bit to a half a cup for this batch and then add maple syrup after you cook it. When you cook this oatmeal, you wanna do the same thing that you do to it that you would do to that instant stuff. You want boiling water is what I use. I boil it on the stove and then add it to my bowl of oatmeal. I probably use a quarter of a cup to a half a cup. I like my oatmeal really thick. Uh, so that's a total like you thing. If you like thin oatmeal and soupy, go ahead and make it that way. If you like it thick and hearty, make it that way. You could also throw water in the microwave in a bowl with the oatmeal, cook it in the microwave. Cook it the same way you would cook that instant stuff. Again, this is an easy way and an inexpensive way to make instant oatmeal. You can see we made all these bags of it. I get 12 bags out of it. It's gonna last me for almost two weeks. It's gluten-free. And now when I want instant oatmeal before I head out of the door, I don't have to worry about cooking it. It only takes a couple minutes. I can take it to work with me if I want and eat it at the office, whatever I want to do. But I've got easy DIY gluten-free oatmeal packets. Guys, that's how easy it is to make your own instant oatmeal packets. I hope you give this recipe a try and maybe you have some idea for some cool mix-ins. If you do, leave those mix-in ideas in the comments below. That's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.